Hello and welcome everyone to this presentation. A prerequisite for this video is you have to understand time. According to the Merriam-Webster definition, the measured or measurable period during which an action, process, or condition exists or continues. Understood? Cool. Now, when we think of superheroes, the great superheroes, these are the ones that come to mind, specifically those guys in the middle. They're Superman, Bats, Wonder Woman. First three guys we think of, not just DC, but in Marvel also, you'll notice a trend here, Kapowie. It's a whole lot of white skin there. See the skin complexion of these guys and the skin complexion of these guys, you know, with a splash of green, leans in one direction. I understand the dangers of this. I do not want to live in a world where we think of the guys who saved the world, populated of uh, a many, a plethora of complexions, and to have this skin color be the only one that shows up, that's dangerous. That is, it, it reinforces or enforces at a young age to people that the best of us look this way, the best of us being superheroes. I don't like that. I don't like this. I don't like that the artist put more effort in the reflection of Thor's helmet. Let's take a second to appreciate that because it does look awesome. Then he did to the Black Panther, who's over there at the left, to the back. That's Black Panther's place here in the Avengers 700 comic book cover. I've got a problem with that. What I want is for more melanated skin colors, or even let's if we're going to Asia and people who have light skin, but they just look different. What I want is for those folks to be represented here when we think of the greatest and the best and the top five. I'd rather have one black superhero enter the top five than I would have 30 black superheroes in the top 50. I want meaningful representation, not just representation. I want cultural impact, significance, relevance. That's the Silver Surfer on the top left. That's Rey Mysterio, the wrestler, dressing up as him when that Silver Surfer movie came out. He doesn't do the Black Panther all the way until when the Black Panther movie comes out, and that's when it, that's when it hit. I want that to happen. It is imperative to me to get black representation up there. We are now going to cut to a presentation. Tation, tation. This is a timeline, okay, guys? That's time to the bottom. And I'm going to show you what happened when Superman was created in 1938. He grows a little bit of fame. People start learning the name of Clark Kent. He's the number one superhero. And all of a sudden, movie... All of a sudden, this guy is a top-tier name. He has entered the mainstream. He's not just no comic book character, household name, comic book appearances, Justice League animated series, Smallville, Man of Steel. He is just there. Very recognizable brand to where even though we haven't had a Superman movie in a while, Superman's right about here by the time we get to this year. That's Superman. I could do the same thing for Batman because he was also created in the 30s. And then he gets a little bit higher and higher. We know Batman, Robin. We know the rogues gallery. He's probably, whoop, computer uh, botch. But but he goes all the way up here too. That's the Batman, okay? Let's do the Flash. You guys get the point, right? Everyone knows the Flash, a hot, hot, popular guy. And he's about right over here. That keeps happening because of the space I have with my mouse. Excuse me. Let's cut over now to some Marvel characters. There's Spider-Man. gets created in the 60s, does whatever a spider can. You know, that cartoon did wonders for him. He's really popular. I'd put him right up there with Superman and Batman. Okay? You guys get the point, yeah? Okay. We get the point. Here's the Black Panther. Didn't exactly have that head start, did he? He began in 67, I want, 66 in the Fantastic Four's comic book. And he's, you know, he's here. He's the number one black superhero. In comic books, which isn't exactly going into the mainstream. It's not really until, maybe an animated movie, I'll give him a little bit here. It's not really until Civil War where they go, oh, this guy in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, that did wonders for his popularity. And then we get to the Black Panther movie, which also did wonders for his popularity. And I'll put him right about here, okay? People don't really know the name of T'Challa. They know who the Black Panther is. But holy smokes, look at that. Look at the amount of like progression he made. If I were to go to Shuri, let's use the color pink for Shuri. She doesn't exist until 2005. And, you know, she's just there if you're reading the Black Panther comic, which isn't really high selling. It's not until about 2018 where she makes her movie appearance. And people people know that that's the sister of T'Challa. But still, you know, thanks to the Marvel or the MCU, that's about where I would keep Shuri at. That's the popularity based on the years. You guys know what I want to do, though? It's going to take a little bit of effort and something called foresight. But what we're going to do if I can get the black ink, is we're going to think about 2040, 2060, 
and imagine a world, guys, now where, you know, the future continues. What does it do if the story of the Black Panthers of T'Challa ends here? This guy has so much. It just ends here. What happens to his popularity? It just is stagnant. Might get a video game and stuff here, but nothing's really going to bring him up the, the way that those movies are going to do. It's stagnant. What's going to happen with Shuri? Maybe we get Shuri a little bit more popular, but there's no way she's per- premiating that top 10. No, Black Panther is in the perfect position to do that. Shuri, let's let's be optimistic and let's say this happens. You know what else happens in the year 2040? The MCU reboots. Guys, everything is going to start over again. The actors will all be too old. They're going to start the second cinematic universe, and there's going to need a new Black Panther. And when they get that new Black Panther, they're going to do something which is called recasting. They're going to do this. They're going to say, hey, we're going to do a Captain America movie back in World War II. But instead, this time, because we don't want to have a cast of all white folks, we need black folks. We're going to have Azuri, the Black Panther who was Black Panther way back in the days this period that's what they're gonna do we're gonna get the azuri black panther aren't we guys we are gonna get him they're gonna do that storyline they are recasting it's happening and then when we get to the current continuity what they're gonna do and let me get rid of this thing here is we're gonna go to the black panther t'challa and we're gonna have the black panther be recasted again now they're not gonna worry about chadwick boseman's legacy or whatever stupid reason they're using now not to recast and what we're gonna do is finally finally after years after years and years is gonna get the black panther's popularity grow and i don't want you see guys there's like a period in time right around here I don't want that obstacle. That is detrimental to the success of Black Panther reaching the top tier comic book characters. This is why we need to recast. And that's why I want it. And I keep telling you guys that I want it. This period in time between 2022 and whenever they start the second cinematic universe, that's like pausing. That's it. He already had a poor head start because if you look here, the Fantastic Four were already big ass names by the time he got started. The Fantastic Four were already pretty popular comic book names. Let me go here to give them a bump up because of the movie. But right now, actually, you know what? Fantastic Four, Black Panther, are about the same place in content in, in popularity, if you if I do say so myself. But the Black Panther had so much going against him. Marvel had already made all of their main superheroes during that period in time that that black panther was only going to be like um what's the word the black panther was only going to make it so far he though is the guy with the most popularity and that is why i want him to become the black panther in the movies continuously for a long time for a real significant amount of time for those of you saying oh, but in the comic books they did shuri here is a comic book of shuri becoming the black panther since she became the black panther they had four things called claws of the panther there's the story she meets spider-man it's short there are less comic books where shuri is the black panther than there are of T'Challa not being the Black Panther during the time Shuri was the Black Panther. To anyone who says, but in the comics, Shuri became the Black Panther, that is not valid. There are people right now who are saying, oh, this chillmonger guy, this YouTuber must hate women. Go search my search bar, put Ironheart, Riri Williams in there, and then kick rocks. Your fragility is getting in the way of my activism. I'm advocating to have Black Panther T'Challa be just as popular, if not more popular, than these guys, than these guys, so that we can have a diverse world, which is the one that I want to live in. 